First of all, guys, if you are looking to get any FIFA coins, check out U7 Buy. They're giving away 10 million coins, and some of you may even get 14% off. Just make sure to use code RECALL when you purchase to enter in and get your extra 5% off. What is going on, guys? If you are new around here, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, subscribe if you are new. We are going to have the details for the giveaway in very, very soon. But you guys know we've got to hit 10K. We will be, of course, doing a PS5 and an Xbox, the iArmor 37 inch monitor, 4,200 FIFA points, and a copy of FIFA 22. And you guys can have a chance to win all of those but we do have a few requirements so i'll get them out very soon for you if you are new around here make sure to slap those notifications on of course drop me a message if you are interested in the discord without further ado let's get into it so guys first of all we're going to be looking at mc Gladbach or M Gladbach, uh, and we've got first of all, we've got mostly play here, so player uh, or player, uh, Stindle, and then there's a couple others. So there's a few players here, they're all selling for about a K. You can see realistically for that, we're going to have to pick them up at 850 and below. So there's a bracket from about 700 to 850 where you can make profits on these cards. Now, I would say that means you are going to be looking for the golden snipes, the ones where people are min listing and making mistakes there, and you're not going to find too many of them with this one, but you will find a few. So actually, right there, Lena is actually quite a good snipe because he's actually one of the more expensive ones so we can pop him up for about 1.1 to 1.2k what we're looking at doing is basically getting a few cheap ones here and then moving on to the next two methods so we can hope that there is a couple coming up here we've got another laner at 900 we don't that's the same one we can't do compare price on a card that's off the market so We'll be knocking, we're doing it at 900 because if one comes up at 900, I can do a little bit of compare price. Makes life a little bit easier. We've got another laner there at 900. We've got play at 750. Lovely stuff. We can re-compare price there on that one there, I believe. Oh, no. We Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We didn't buy the 900. That is good from us. Stindle there at 900. We don't want that either. We're just going to keep scrolling along until we get one more. Obviously, I've backed out there accidentally, but 750 for a plea is quite good after EA tax. That's a 200 coin profit, so not too bad at all. If we pop it down to 850, I'm just going to see if we can get many after a few searches, and then we're going to move on to the next one. We've got Stindle there, not too bad. It does look like actually this method's probably working out a little bit better than I was expecting there, so I'm just going to pop this up as well so we'll whack that one we're gonna have to whack them on for one unfortunately we can't really push much more profit out of these guys they are pretty low ended price players but we can get a few there as cheaply as possible Elvedi realistically is a little bit more he's a Bundesliga centre back those guys actually do go for quite a bit so we'll probably get 1.3 1.4 out of him so to be fair it swings around about so we might be making a ton of these guys that we didn't even realise we're gonna go for one more and then we're gonna move on to the next one so can we get one is it gonna it's gonna finesse as I feel like when I say that, when I say we'll get one more and then move on, it doesn't let us ever get one more. So it's a little bit of a finesse, but we've got a Stindle at 800. We'll take it. We've made a nice little bit of profit and we can move on to the next two teams. We're actually sticking in the Bundesliga for the first one. We are moving over to Bayern Munich. I know those guys are actually usually ridiculously priced. So let's see what they're going for at the moment. Let's find that Bayern badge there. At 850, you can get a rare gold from Bayern. That is very, very shocking. Um, but you can only get, I believe, the way to go with this one would be a midfielder. Uh, because then that brings us up a little bit of a nicer selection of players there. A little bit of a higher price range. So, we're going to pop this down to 3.2. See who comes up. We've got the likes of Martinez. You should have some Tiagos and Talisos. Not Tiago. Not Tiago. You should have some Talisos in there as well. With midfielder, we still get Martinez going quite low. So, he is still quite low value there. Let's have a look at... Oh, so he goes for about 1.2 there. So, not bad. Selling them on for 1.2, pick him up at 900. The EA tax on that is going to be 60 coins. So that's not actually a bad profit for the first one there. We're going to make, what, 240, I believe, on that one. So we can snipe as low as 1K, uh, but we want really to be picking him up as low as possible. He goes for 1.2 as an easy sell. Not bad, but once again, quite low budget. We are looking at some low budget methods today. Um, of course, the hamster that's running EA servers has died. I've heard they, they were basically down all day. I was at work, so fortunately enough, it didn't affect me too much. But it is annoying that you buy a game, they don't even have the servers working. I know I know we all complain about EA. We definitely don't have like a cyberpunk level situation where the game is actually just trash and they've just given us like a half done game. They do just do a load of things that do mess around with the game a little bit. So I think that you kind of just got to bear in mind that 
EA don't really care, and they are trying to finesse you a little bit here and there, so you kind of have to bear that in mind a bit. Um, and of course, guys, we are going to do, as we discussed in the last video, we've got the, the sniper of the day, the player of the day. So I'll have three filters here for you. There may be a fourth. I'm going to check on a fourth one, depending on um, what it is, because basically there's one that I think might work. We're going to check it, and if it doesn't, we're just going to have to ignore that. But you've also got the player of the day, of course, which I'm going to be adding here every video, guys. You guys seem to love the last video, like views and, and likes and subs and stuff from it were a lot better than usual so that tells me that you guys enjoyed it which means I'm going to try to keep more consistent with that kind of enjoyable content so we're going to be moving over to the Prem we won't be looking at midfielders but we are looking at basically the best team in the Prem right now Man City of course they don't have any players cheaper than 1.1 because it's Man City they are just the rich team in the Prem so 1.4 there for Zinchenko is it realistically more like 1.5 for a player from City 1.5 there there's still not that many I reckon you could arguably sell these guys on at 1.6 quite comfortably uh 1.6 there there's still not even like there's still some sat there on like 12 minutes there right that 1k is going to be a finesse we're going to have we're going to miss that okay right 1.4 i feel like we don't want to pick them up but we can compare price we're going to sell at 1.6 but we'll pick up at 1.3 and below because i feel like the 1.4s I just don't, when there's so many of them on the market, I just don't like picking them up. So Foden there, oh, that was going to be a banger snipe. Quite annoyed about that one. Foden would have been a very, very good snipe. Unfortunately, Zinchenko got in the way of that, but we will hopefully make up for it. So we're going to sell him on for 1.6. After EA tax, that's a 220 coin profit. So not bad. Definitely quite a good one there. We're going to pop this on to 1.3. And just snipe, because I feel like if we'd have sniped that Foden there, we might have got him. So I don't want to miss out on another big, big snipe there. With especially, you know, Foden's a good one. Foden's a really easy player to snipe usually. So I feel like I've been done a little bit dirty there. You know what? It's, it's EA. It's it's not me. It's never me. I can't be the problem. Of course not. Um, so it is definitely EA there with the problem. Um, what we'll do is we're going to try and get one more, but I feel like we are we are being finessed slowly here. Let's have a look at the 1.4s on the... Com oh, so the 1.4s have all gone now. So we're going to probably pick that one up since I was apprehensive about it before and then basically everything I was apprehensive with has been solved. So that's always a good one. Let's have a look. Pop this one through. Have we got another one? Have we got another one in the lockup? No, we don't want another Zinchenko. If we can snipe at 1.4, the idea will be that we get other players. A Zinchenko, I do still want to say I'm going to pick him up at 1.3 and below. If we can get other players at 1.4, though, definitely a banging deal. Okay, so we've got Ruben Diaz. He would have been a snipe. I can't believe we've missed another one. Right, Zinchenko is killing our people. He really is not doing us nicely there. Come on. We've... Oh, it's another one. I've missed another one, haven't I? Ah, oh, what... How? How has no one beat me? Right, let's have a look at how much this guy is going to make me. Have I just... Oh, to be fair, he goes for 2.5k. That is bank. That is very decent there. We're going to whack him up for 3.3. We've actually not been done dirty there, guys. We could have been finessed. And they, EA said, nah, we're going to give you the card for once. Oh, do you know what? I back it. I back EA for once. They've done... They've done a job. I can't lie. I'm very impressed like that yeah fair play i mean it wasn't ea at all it's all my wi-fi but we're gonna thank ea for things that they don't deserve thanking for as usual like making a game that works oh thanks ea cheers like no no um but as i say yeah i heard the hamster died i've seen a lot about that on twitter i wasn't doing too well what the hell has happened in this time that we've been doing this video then because i mean they were going for what we should all them 1.4s would have been snipes every time i say something like that oh yeah these guys these guys aren't worth picking up every time they are worth picking up so Foden there at 1.4. How much does young Foden go for? I believe he is at the 2K mark as well. 1.8, 1.8, not bad. Still a good snipe, so we'll take it. We are doing quite good. I think this one is definitely the filter of the video. I can't lie. I've got to give it props, especially when some of the other ones, you know, they're not bad filters. You make a decent amount of coins, but this one really is shelling out right now. Uh, we've got 1K for a Ferran to almost we almost got 1k for a Ferran Torres that was going to be sniper the vid that would have been a very very good I'm quite disappointed with that one there I can't lie what we're going to finally look at here just to take a peek is we're going to see if these guys are priced out so these guys are priced out so this is a good filter right now let's have a look so you got them at 2.4 there so we're going to knock them down to what well, where are we really sitting with them 1.9 I reckon they're probably going for about 1.8 1.9, how many pages we got? We've got a few pages there. So we're going to knock it down to 1.7. 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7
Okay, what we got? 55 minutes, 55. That was a snipe and a half. Right, 55 minutes at 1.7. I reckon we could sell at 1.8. EA tax is going to be 90 coins. So at 1.6 and below, we've been making profits. So we've got Missouri, first of all. We're going to probably make a decent amount off this one. I think that this one is one of the easiest filters. You saw that one case straight away that we missed. But realistically, if there's one case to be missed, someone's getting that. Someone's made the profit. So we definitely want to see if we can grab one of those as well. And then I will, of course, do player of the day. We've got to have player of the day. We can't have a video about it. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a nice little feature. I quite like doing player of the day. Van Anke. I definitely said that wrong, but Van Anke. I, I can't speak. I actually can't speak. I, other, well, I, I'm actually illiterate when it comes to names from other countries. I, I try. Like, from work, I do speak to a lot of people with names I cannot pronounce. And I always try. It just doesn't necessarily sound good every time. I'm fuming that we missed that one. That is really, really good. But we are going to have to cut this method short to show you guys the player of the day. My favorite player. He is actually, I'd argue, he's probably one of my favorite players in this game. And that is because even at this stage in the game, I bring him on as an 84 and he still slaps goals against people in foot champ. Douglas Costa, the absolute beauty. Now, how much does he actually go for at the moment? What's he sitting at? Around 8.2. I do actually, weirdly enough, have his Juventus card untradeable. So that's actually a bit of a flex, really. You know, you know, you guys, you know, no one else can get that card. It's a bit, it's like having, I feel like it's like Bale's Real Madrid card, but less of a flex. Uh, it looks like this guy's going for 7.8, maybe. Let's have a look. 7.8, there's still barely any cards. 7.9, what, are we just, is it just a flat out 8K? Is that like a really, that's oh, like the most simple, this is going to be so easy to work out. Right, 8K, EA tax is 400, so you take it to there. Profit for 100. We want to really profit at least 200 coins per card when we do play out of the day. Because 100 just, just doesn't cut it, especially when players change price more, so I feel like you should undercut a little bit more to get a better profit. What we can do, though, is go on this one here and do a little bit of compare price, see if anything comes up. We are obviously going to snipe until we get one of these bad boys. I hope that we can get one quickly. Um, we might have to rattle. We're going to have to play a game of either get banned or get a snipe, which is basically we snipe quick as hell until we get a ban or a snipe it's pretty pretty self-explanatory um i believe we can probably get a custer i feel like he's not that ridiculously hard to pick up i hope he's not because he is one of my favorite players and i do want you guys to smash it on a player of the day if you guys do get costa on a good snipe drop me a message send me it in you might feature in the next video i think that's what we're going to do for the player snipes if you guys get a good costa let me know send it in what i'm talking for good at least a k under we want at least k so we've been kicked out you guys can obviously do better let's see it and i'll see you guys tomorrow